And now, for your edification, a few things for which we are not thankful for. Ski tips. Aunt Ethel's fruitcake. The line at the grocery store. Walking into spider webs. Scissors that come in the package. I need scissors to open. The guy at the gym who grunts too loud. Cell phone bills. Speeding tickets. Public restrooms. With no toilet paper. Dust bunnies. When Netflix asks if I'm still watching. Runny noses. Flu. Division. Hurricanes. Mental illness. Starving children. Disease. Nightmares. Broken hearts. Pain. Sometimes during the holidays, I feel guilty for thinking of the things that hurt. When everybody is in the other room eating green bean casserole and you can smell the turkey. And I'm sitting there worried about my nephew who's in a lot of trouble. When my daughter brings me that turkey day craft of her handprint that she did in school. And all I can think about is having to tell her that I lost my job. And we're going to need to move again away from all her friends. I'm afraid. I'm broken. But worst of all, I feel alone. But I have learned in my fear, in my brokenness, that I am not. I am never alone. The God who knitted me together called me according to his plan, gave his life to restore relationship with me. He promised never to forsake me. For this, I am grateful. The creator of the universe built into me a desire for deep connection, and that's with others, and with an ability to build those relationships. For that, I am grateful. When my anxiety is greater than I can bear, God comforts me and brings me joy. For that, I am grateful. And so, for your continued edification, a list of things that we are thankful for. The love of family, even when they drive me crazy, break my heart. The laughter of friends, even when I have a hard time joining in. The promise of God's presence even when I find it difficult to believe. The abundant mercies of God that are new every morning. The sure knowledge that my joy is not dependent on my circumstances. The sacrifice of a savior who died so that I can get across that gap that I could not cross without him. For that, I am thankful. Hey everybody, so forgive my horrible English accent. If I offended anybody with it, I apologize. <laughs> Try to do something different. So our lesson today is about being thankful and grateful in times of change, of circumstances beyond our control. And I think with everything that's going on in the world right now, with COVID, with the election, it's something we really need to hear, where schools are not what they're supposed to be. It's a little bit different than what you're used to, and it's so easy to feel afraid. It's so easy to forget that God is never going to leave you, that he is walking along with you. It's a hard lesson 
And it's one that we really need to remember because there's always going to be change in our lives. There's always going to be things that are scary. And there's always going to be God right there next to us, walking alongside us. So our lesson for today, our verse for today is Deuteronomy 31.6. And I want to read it to you. Ready? You can join with me. So Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. For oh, do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So he's telling us be strong. Don't be afraid. That he's above all of these circumstances that things of this earth are fleeting. They're they disappear quickly, but God is constant. And in this time right now, when we're thinking about Thanksgiving, we're thinking about being thankful and grateful. There's always one thing that we can count on to be thankful and grateful for. And that is God and his promise, his promise that he sent his son so that there will always be a way for us to bridge that gap and cross it to join him. I'm going to read it to you one more time, okay? Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So I want you guys to remember that as we go through this month that's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be okay because God is with us always. And we can be thankful for that. We can be thankful for the families he's given us to keep us safe. And we are so blessed. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Okay.